So yung mga sasakay sa yo, like yung mga sa two seater, I mean, will they also be able to feel that speed? Yeah, I mean, of course, gusto naman ako mag maneho yung <laughs> be safe. <laughs> yeah, na safe, but it's it's also important that you know they just sit in and then like let us take care of the rest because I think ah, they will just okay. from that point realize what it's like to be in a formula car because it's different from anything else so especially I mean with the brakes the sound of the engine and, mm, and just the being sound, so low no? to, the, to the yeah to the floor it's just it's yeah. really incredible but it's hot here right so you can feel like the heat of the ground or it's really insulated well I mean from the car you can normally in, yeah you don't feel it you'll be hot for sure and I'll be I think mm -hmm. sweating quite a bit because yeah. It's hotter than most tracks I've ever been to, yeah. and in a way, Manila is gonna be humid. It's gonna be, you know, summertime here. It's it's just gonna be a sweat box. But <laughs> I don't care, you know. They can leave me for ten hours in the car Aww. all throughout the day, and then I'll, I'll suffer just, yeah, just to show, it, huh? yeah, just to show everyone, you know, put on a show and, and give them a good time. So, is it correct that there's gonna be some like a couple from the public will be able to ride? No. Yeah, I think um, that, that's like the whole some... point of it, basically. That's why we made the whole event free and open to the public, was we wanted to get everyone, all our mga kabayan, to get up and close and personal with the Formula One car. Mm -hmm. That's really just the whole purpose of this, because so many people, they hear about F1, they know the names, but they can't afford to, for example, fly to a race, yeah. or they've never seen a live Formula One car. So the whole purpose of this is to really bring everyone closer to F1 and the fact okay. that we can even have a Filipino driver driving the Formula yes. 1 car. Now this is not the car that you drive in the World Series, right? No, no. This is for this sure is what a lot you drove faster. in the Paul Ricard? In the test, yes. That's this is the same car I drove. Okay, so can you tell me about your first two races? Like I hear you were having engine trouble. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean the first two race weekends this year haven't gone as smoothly as we expected. By now, at least I would have liked to score some points, and we came very close on two occasions in Monza. Mm -hmm. um, but we had to start from the back of the grid. Unfortunately, we've run into a lot of technical issues, and uh, you know they're making sure that everything is is going fine for the next coming races. But it's not the best or perfect start to the season. I mean, as a team, we've only scored I think five or six points. Yeah. And we're quite low in the teams and drivers championships, but we know that we still have seven and a half races to go. A lot can happen, and I think we are definitely capable of scoring points and finishing much higher in, in, in races. So, what do you need to adjust? You something in the car, or do you know exactly, or no? No, I wouldn't say the car. You know, the team, they've been in the series quite a long time. Yeah. And they've, they have a proven track record. And they know what they're doing, so it's it's just it's just ironing out the rough edges at this point, I guess. And it's starting from zero again from for when we go to Monaco this month mm -hmm. and for the next coming races. So you're excited for Monaco, of course, because it didn't kind of last year, deba. Right? Yeah, I mean uh, that's that's a track I always hold close to my heart because of the very good memories I had last year and the historic moment for winning it for the first time actually in in Monaco. Um, I realized obviously that this year again it's quite a hard task because I'm up against more experienced people. Yeah. It's my rookie year and you know I can't expect too much from the race but definitely if I could finish in the top five I'd be more than happy, even mm. more happy than than wanting to win the race. So, so that's your goal top five in yeah. the after the whole series? Uh, not in the series but for the next coming race definitely mm. in Monaco because I feel like even in that track, I, I, I felt really good, and hopefully that can you know make the difference. The fact that I won it last year, and yeah. I have that experience despite being a rookie in the championship yeah. this year. So, question in the race before you you race on Saturday and Sunday, correct? Yeah. So, is there like practice on Friday? Yeah, we have a practice, and for Monaco it will be different because we have practice on Thursday and then nothing on Friday mm. because they have a fashion show or something in Monaco. It's quite a special event. Yeah. And then Saturday is qualifying and then Sunday is one race. Mm, okay. So it's all building up just for this one yeah. 45 minutes of racing. So Mario, you're also getting tremendous support from our president. So I mean, he's actually going to come. So yeah, it's make you feel really awesome. I mean, that, to, to hear that, if it's really true, and to, the fact that he's coming, I mean, that would be that would be such a cool honor to have, and uh, hopefully we can entertain him the best way we can, and uh, hopefully we can get him to 
sit in the two-seater Formula One car, but we'll see. I mean, I've heard some rumors, but uh, it would be cool to see Mr. President in the yeah. show. So, um, Eric Bully as the team principal, what has he told you, or how does he guide you to this, like, to your, in your rookie year? I mean, uh, obviously, Eric is quite, Mr. Bully is uh, quite um, busy with his Formula One schedule. Mm -hmm. He has... Uh, Kimi and Roman to look after as well as our seven young junior drivers in the mm -hmm. program including me uh, but so far they, they're very you know they, they let you be who you are in a way they, they as a racing driver they don't put that type of pressure where you have to perform mm -hmm. obviously there is more pressure the fact that you carry the you know lotus badge yeah on your suit on your on your team gear and everything but at the same time you know they they want to work in the right way and they want to pull all in the right direction and I think in terms of support I mean the best way I can put it is that we have a Formula One roadshow in the Philippines yeah. so I think that's more than anyone could ask, ask for. Lahat ba ng countries may roadshow no or how many can I mean is it very I mean, hard to get a roadshow with this no? Uh, it is I mean logistically the price and everything it's it's really difficult to organize such an event. And I'm just glad also that my family, you know, especially my mother and my father, they've just uh, been organizing this whole entire event. And yeah. Especially with all my family, Your even, friends. even my friends, <laughs> they've become a part of it. And of course, the crew and the people who've been hired as well. So yeah. it's just amazing to see this all materialize, especially from such close people I know. Tapos yung ibang segments ng motorsports, they're also all going to be here. So that, you know, that's kind of nice to be able to get everybody together in this extravaganza, diba? Ah, definitely. I mean, can the, pull everybody up. The whole point of this is not just because naman it's an F1 event and mm -hmm. I'm driving an F1 car. Ayoko naman or di, di kami ayoko naman mag snub yung motorsport community. Mm -hmm. The whole point of this is to raise the profile of our motorsport community and by getting as many people involved. So, hopefully we can, you know, raise that profile and at the same time inspire the next young generation of Filipino racers to hopefully one day you know make it as far as I did and maybe even get to F1 so yeah. that, that would be a really good thing and if, if we can pull that off as well as you know trying to secure the support for my racing career and to get to Formula 1 then I think we've achieved the goals that we wanted to by bringing F1 to the Philippines. Yes. Now can you share some of your training and fitness uh, regimen that you're going through because everybody's saying you look so much better your skin <laughs> looks you know it's kind of glowing like that so you said you made some changes to your eating or whatever yeah i mean um i've become more specific with how i eat like my diet I've, I've started cooking myself i mean i've always been cooking but i've been really specific like including a lot of fatty fishes like uh, salmon mm. some bass turbo and then also like pairing it with like you know, healthy green vegetables. Gulay. So yeah. more gulay and fish. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Gulai? I have, I have me, me carne naman, pero that's like, a, how do you say, a treat once in a while. Mm. Like, I'll treat myself to a steak. Talaga? Just just to keep the mass and the, the bulk because I need to also get stronger. <laughs> um, in the car I'm racing right now, it's quite physical, so you need a yeah. lot of physical strength. And, uh, yeah, a lot of proteins just to build up some muscle and get stronger. And then well. in terms of stamina, sabi mo kailangan you have to develop it to withstand like the... Yeah, the stamina part, obviously, it's a lot of cardio. So I do you a do lot, a lot of, of cardio in Europe? Yeah, it's just a lot of training in terms of, um, mm -hmm. you know, road cycling, running, and uh, sometimes boxing. I mean, I still enjoy doing sports yeah. that, that are different, you know, because it gets so tedious if you're always doing the same gym program. Yeah, para may cross training. Yeah, exactly. And it's also nice because... The trainer we have in Lotus actually gives us a program every other month or every other two months. So that way your body is always being challenged and you don't have the same yeah. workouts. And then you always feel sore like the next day. So nice, we, nice feeling. We make no? sure we, we suffer a lot. So. And he's the same trainer as Grosjean, Roman Grosjean. Mm. His name is Dave Thompson and you most probably will see him mm. a lot even at F1 races and he actually looks after us. He's so not coming here. No, no, I mean, for this event, he knows I'll be fit enough, so it should be okay. <laughs> okay, so invite again yung mga Filipinos to come. Where yes. And where should they go in the on Saturday, you think? So for, mga what time, ganon? For Saturday, please uh, come to the Carino Grandstands. 
It will start at 9 a.m. until 12 noon. Uh, we will have the load roadshow demonstration with the F1 car in the Carino Grandstand. And then it will switch to a different venue to MOA from 1 to 5 p.m. May 4 on Saturday. And we will have the same program with the exhibitions and the Lotus F1 car demonstration as well as doing donuts myself. And the same also goes on Sunday, May 5th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with the Lotus F1 car again. And it's free, it's open to the public, so I please invite everyone to come and watch as you can get, you guys can get up close and personal with an F1 car and we can all celebrate Philippine speed and motorsport. So please be there.